Hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, we'll be discussing the 1972 disaster film, The Poseidon Adventure, starring Gene Hackman, <coughs> Ernest Borgnine, Red Buns, and Shelley Winters in this, <coughs> as well as the and I forgot the guy's name, but he played Grandpa Joe in the original of Willy Walker in the Chocolate Factory. So, he, he's in this movie as well. And of course, this movie, uh, it's a, a typical disaster film that took place in the early 1970s, which was a big deal to have uh, a disaster film starring a bunch of A-list, and sometimes B-list actors, you know, one whole film, and to see how they survive it. And there was a whole bunch of bunch of films around that time. I think it really started in the 1950s with the movie Pussy Review called The High and the Mighty. That was really one of the first movies, and the first movie, that have an all-star cast on, on, in a disaster film. So it was an airplane. And so you also had other airplane disaster films in the, later on in the 1970s as well. You also had movies like Earthquake, you had the Towering Inferno, you had this movie, The Poseidon Adventure, you had, you know, Airport 1970, you had a whole, whole bunch of disaster films that came, that had an all-star cast in it. And The Poseidon Adventure is no different. Um, the movie is, is really, it's kind of like the opposite of Titanic. I mean, Titanic was on its main voyage when it hit an iceberg and sank and more than half the people went and died. And The Poseidon Adventure, it was supposed to be the last voyage of this ship called the Poseidon. And it was probably the last cruise, a New Year's Eve cruise, New Year's Eve cruise and all that stuff. And then for some reason a huge they had an earthquake in the middle of, of the ocean. It was an earthquake. And uh, I should also mention that uh, Leslie Nelson plays the captain on the ship. I forgot to mention him. Uh, so you had a tidal wave. Well, nowadays we call them tsunamis, but but uh, you have this huge, gigantic tidal wave nearly knocks over the ship until it's upended, and so everything is like upside down. And so, of course, several passengers get killed almost right away because they were fall falling, flipping over, and, and over tea kettles, as they, as they would say, and everything is turned upside down. And meanwhile. Gene Hackman, who was one of the ministers on, on the ship, who, who claims like a defrocked priest, now he's just a minister, and rounds up a, gr a group of survivors. One of them like Ernest Bong, Night Red Bun and Red Buns, the, the two of them, and, and Shelley Winters. They all get together, so oh, let's follow him and we'll get, get out of here. And we have to get through the opening with, with the propellers or we can get out that way because they, 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 said, uh, they explained it that, that the steel is on their way maybe an inch thick so maybe we can cut our way maybe we can get you know, cut our way out and stuff so this group fo follows Gene Hackman and, they get, and, they, and eventually over the course of the movie they do eventually get out spoiler for those, those of you who haven't seen the movie but there was a group of people, survivors in the ballroom who decided to stay and not follow Gene Hackman in that group. And they said, come on, we all have to get out of here. I mean, the, I mean, the boat's not going to last forever. And they said, hey, they're going, they're going to come rescue us. We're going to be rescued. And they said, you know, you're rescued. The whole crew got, is, is, is dead. The whole bridge crew is now dead because we all flipped over. They're going to be, if they're not that dead already, they're going to drown. By the time we get to them. So so we have to do this stuff on our own. We have to get out of here. So so he convinced enough people to go with him, but the majority stayed in there and and when Gene Hackman decides, you know, it's not right, maybe we should go back and try and convince these people to come come with us. And he said, Okay, see, see if you can do that, we'll meet you meet you in you know, in the galley or something. So so when he went back, guess what happened? We had another like an explosion in the engine room or something, and and the whole glass, <coughs> the, the, the pink stained glass window broke, and all this water came gushing in, 
And so, of course, whoever stayed down there, they're now all dead. Spoiler. So, they do eventually get to where they're supposed to uh, be eventually. And the guy who played Grandpa Joe, really Walker, his wife dies, who was played by Shelly Winters. She dies, or drowns, trying to get save Gene Hackman because Gene Hackman decided to go in first into this fat of water to tie it up so he, so he climbed using the rope, using a rope that they found, so he could be a little bit safer. Well, when, when Gene Hackman didn't answer back right away, Shelly Winters was probably a champion of swimming, went to get went to go get him, and she ends up drowning. So she dies, and then they eventually get to the engine room, and now has a steam pipe. Right, how do we supposed to get there when the steam pipe is going to kill us? So Gene Hammond says to do a leap, shut off the valve, and turn the valve off, which he eventually does. Takes him maybe a couple of minutes to do it. And meanwhile, he ends up falling to it after he does it and shuts off the shuts off the steam valve. He falls to his death. So, so now the main character, Gene Hackman, he dies in the end. Spo you know, major spoiler. But all the ca other characters, they have to, to get to... Well, well, now uh, the spoiler is going to make a promise to Gene Hackman to get all the people out. And, and it happens to be only six people left. From the spot. I have a group of maybe about 10 or 11 people. Now it's only like down to six. Now, at this point. And they got out the army, uh, sit, uh, not the army, the uh, Coast Guard, the Navy SEALs, they all, they all saved them. And they happened to all, you know, the six people, you know, leave, leave and they survive. And it's a pretty good disaster for the first time. I mean, like I said, it's not, now this movie is like, will be like a cliche now because we all know there's only like a small group that's going to survive. Uh, the Gene Hackman was right, everybody else was wrong, you know, the other groups were wrong, and, and they do end up, I should mention the fact that they did, as, long as, they, were, as, they, as they were on their way to the engine room, they went into the ship's doctor, and a group, another group of people who, su who survived it, who survived the, uh, the, cra the original crash, and they said, look, where are you, and Gene Hackman was pleading with the doctors, look, where are you go come with us? I know the, but this is the best way to get out. And the guy said, no, 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 we go to the bow of the ship, that's the best way to get out. And they were, they were debating, of course, the people who were going out to the bow of the ship. Actually, the problem with this movie is they never found out what happened to the rest of the people that the doctor was needing. He never found out what happened to them. And, and it's implied in the movie that whoever went up to the bow of the ship, they all, di they all died. The only people who survived were the six main characters, and that's it. Uh, that's my problem, problem when they had the movie. You didn't know what happened to the, to the people who were, were, they were being led. The passengers were being led by the, by the ship's doctor. You didn't know what happened because you didn't see it. You didn't see what happened. You, you didn't see what happened to the people in, in the Poseidon adventure. You didn't see it. So that, so to me, that was a disappointment the whole damn thing. You didn't know what happened. I mean, I it. I, what happened to the people with, with the doctor? They kind of left, left that out. And just focus on you know the main characters, uh, you know Gene Hackman, Ernest Borgnine, and Red Burns, and Shelley Winters. They focus on those people, and they forget about everybody else. And you know, it's a, kind of like the same thing with the movie Titanic. You kind of forget about everybody. You just about focus on Jack and Rose, and you forget about everybody else in that movie. Same thing here. Who knows? Maybe, maybe James Cameron saw that bit from the, from the sign adventure. I, I don't know, but. That's what happens. You didn't know what happened to the other people. You didn't mention it. Who knows? If I had the DVD of the movie or, or the old VHS of this film, I probably would have a thing in the end with the other people. Um, but it didn't show it. They make no mention of it. It says, oh, those six people survived, and that's it. Everybody else died. And it's kind of um, kind of like a ripoff. Anyway, because you like to see what happens to the other people. Other than, Gene, other than Gene Hackman, you like to see how other people survive this thing. So, but as a movie, it, I mean, like I said, it was a movie of its time. Especially at the time we had all these disaster films. I mean, I mean that, that's that's what it worked. Nowadays, it, this type of movie won't work today. 
because it says nowadays it's such a cliche because we're so used to seeing you know, all these different types of disaster movies, especially back then. So nowadays we go nowadays we're sick of these disaster films. We want something a little more realistic. Now you know what's gonna happen, you know where it's gonna go, you know Gene Hackman is right, or his character is right, and everybody else is wrong. That type of, that type of thing. And they use the same cliche in uh, the Die Hard movie Die Hard movies as well. The John thing is right and everybody else is wrong type thing. Uh, but in the movie itself, that's really because he liked Jane Hackman performance, he also like Ernest Long guy. The two of them were kinda of like Ben and uh, kinda of like in Night of the Living Dead when you have Miss Ben and Mr. Cooper. You know, those two characters constantly fighting about what's the right way to do. They use that in this they use that premise in this movie as well. Like like which one is right and which one is wrong type thing. But when you find out in the end that Gene Hackman was the one that was right and how to go about getting off the ship. So that's my review of the movie uh, The Poseidon Adventure. Please click on the video, please rate it. Please subscribe to my channel, please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and all on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com, so WDY, and that's C.com. Homepage and other reviewer, Christy Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.